Sometime, but then my mind went a little further, brother, yes. when he was coming in and he had the Spirit of God and he was bringing me in. Hallelujah. He said, Hey, I'm not alone coming into this town. I know what I got. Praise God. I'm not alone. Hallelujah. He would draw a little bit, brother, great, and he would worship a little bit because he wasn't alone. Praise God. He was in the race, but he wasn't by himself. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let's worship the Lord to that. Talking anything about sin, but just living in this old world. Right. 
Just to occupy until he comes, like he says. Hallelujah. Sometimes it gets worrisome just to occupy until he comes. Right. But, but you know what? We can come to the house of the Lord. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, we can sir. lay those burdens down. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. We can feel so much better. Oh, yes. I yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down.
right. That's it. It's only by, only the, grace by the grace of God. Of God. Yeah, yes, sir. Praise God. I'm glad I'm not what I used to be. I, I don't believe we ought to look back and glorify in what we used to be. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's good to look back and say, Lord, I think I'm not, I think that I'm not what I used to be. Praise God. But you know what? I can't change that, brother. Right. I didn't have the power in myself right. to change what I used to be. Right. Praise God. But I know a man. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. God. I had a desire to change, Woo. brother, Blake, but not the power to change. Right. Praise God. So whenever we have a desire to change, and he comes on the scene, the change is there. Yes. Praise right. God. Yes. Praise yes. God. The song it says, I'm not perfect, but I'm forgiven. Right. Praise God. There's a couple places in the Bible that talks about perfect is being forgiven. Jeez. Praise God. When you're, that's, that's what it is. Whenever He makes us perfect, He forgives us. Praise God. But you know what? We're not going to be perfect down here. No. Right. I don't care what you try to do. You're not going to be perfect down here. Right. But you know what? We can be forgiven. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. Yes. We can Hallelujah. be changed. Down here. Yeah, and I don't have a desire, Brother Clay, to go back to what I used to be. I don't miss none of that stuff. I don't have a desire to go and do things that I shouldn't do. Right. Praise God. I, this is the best life there is. I say it a lot. If it wasn't no heaven, no hell. It was kind of like our, our crazy people. Hey, if it's, we just go back to dust and that's it. It doesn't matter. You know, and then you got some, all they believe in is heaven. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't want nothing. You can't believe in heaven unless you believe in hell. Right. Praise right. God. It's, there's, there's, it's, it's a two way street. Hallelujah. But I don't have any desire to go back to that. But if, it, if, this, if, there, was, if there wasn't any of that, this is still the best life there is. Right. Yes. Me coming to church on Sunday with my brothers and sisters Ooh, and feeling what I feel here today, yes. this yes. is the best life there is. Ooh, praise yes. God. Praise God.
take some needs to the Lord today. He's an awesome God. And yes, he is. He desires us to take our, our needs, our desires, and our wants to him. Praise yes. God. Now, let's remember all those that are battling this, this cancer. Uh, we was over yesterday actually visiting with Jody. and He really looks good. We've probably been now for almost a, over a year requesting prayer for Jody Malone every day. A really, really good friend of mine. He looks good. And, uh, yeah. He is... Uh, He's, we pray for him. He's, he actually is cancer free right now, except for he has a small spot on his pancreas, and they're not wanting to operate on it. I talked to him yesterday, and his wife, Ron talked to his wife some yesterday, and they're wanting, and I understand, they're wanting that, that, that little part taken out. The doctors are not wanting to, and I know they know more sometimes, but I'm kind of like Jody. If I got cancer in my body, I want it out. Right. Praise God. But let's just pray for, pray for him, continue to pray for him that the Lord would. Give him a peace about whatever way it goes. Hallelujah. Praise God. I think it would be awesome if the next time he goes back, say, hey, it's gone. Praise God. We didn't take it out, but it's gone. Hallelujah. And how many times have we heard that God done that? And he's able. Praise God. But let's remember Jody Malone. Still remember Harold Curry. Let's remember Brad Ross. Uh, Philip Pertle. He's my neighbor, and I have not talked to him in a few weeks. I need to go by and check on him, but I do see him out in the, uh, feeding the cows and stuff, so I know he's doing okay. But let's continue to pray for him as well. And y'all may have saw him. Have y'all saw him in treatment lately? Or? I've seen him. So, sister, they ran into him a few there. So, but, but let's continue to pray for him, praise God. Sometimes the treatment is worse than the, than the cancer. So let's remember to pray for that tonight, too, uh, this afternoon, too. Let's remember all our surrounding churches, surrounding pastors of these churches, that the Lord would just flood these cities with a spirit of revival. Praise God. I believe that we are seeing that today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you have a need that you want to bring to the Lord today? Bring known to the Lord's church. I don't remember Don. I still remember uh, Sister Barbara Craig. I talked to her this past week. And she says she's healing just marvelously. Yes. She knows that it's the Lord and she can't wait to come back sure. to church. She says, tell everybody hello yes. and she misses them. Amen. We miss if her if, if the good. ladies could give her a call, I have her <clears> number <throat> and uh, she would enjoy sure. uh, a phone call. Yes. Let's remember Sister Amanda today. Hopefully she'll come in our family. Let's remember Brother Tony. I don't know he's going through some stuff with his cancer. Let's remember him. Praise God. Any other needs today? Praise God, brother. My family and uh, my daughter at home, she's having problems. I uh, pray for her. And, uh, my cat, my cat, to heal my cat. Uh, my cat, uh, I see faith on her back. Yeah. Lord, healed her up. Yes. All right. All right. Lord, healed anything. Like oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Sure Praise God. I yeah, I believe in that. I requested prayer last week for my little dog, and I believe the Lord's working on her. She's still limping a little bit, but he's he's working on her. He probably had to get some of that meanness out of the way first <laughs> before he could work on her legs. So we're, we're trusting him on that. Praise God. I've got to get all that. I need to pray her, need to pray her through before we get to that part, too. Praise God. Being facetious, of course, but I believe that God can. I believe that, brother. He can. I've seen it. Praise God. He can touch. He is concerned with what we're concerned with. Right? Yes. It doesn't have to be something big to everybody else, but if it's big to me, then that yes. concerns him. Yes, right. Praise God. Any other needs today before we go to the Lord in prayer today? All our grandchildren. Yes, I mean, I mean, we can all raise hands to lost loved ones today. Praise God. Just remember the Stroud family. Right. Mm -hmm. God knows. Yes, God knows the need there. Let's go to Right, yes, remember our firemen, policemen, all our first responders today, military men. Remember our president. I have some needs that I'm working on, some miraculous things that are happening, but some needs related to it that I'd like to got an answer for. So he can do it, and I'm just going right. to trust him. Continue to pray for us. We're still going back. Yes, bless And I have two daughters that are, they need a prayer for their after medical problems. Jesus. Right. knows his needs. God, I've got some unspoken things that God's doing for us. We're excited about that. Any other unspoken? May that lift your hand. Praise God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Ask Him if He wouldn't have this place to remain in this service. We ask Him. Lord, we thank you, Lord. 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 Request you know, Lord, these that are bad with different diseases and cancer, sometimes even the treatments. God, I want you to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch those things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's request, Lord, to touch all of these things. God, I pray God for the Father's
is holy, and we, we try to do our best to line up to what we know is holy, what yes. God is holy. Right. But you know, I saw, sometimes I wonder, when we, when we get up there, but like, we see, I believe we're going to be really, really, I'm not, you know, there's a song that says, I can only imagine. Right. Yeah. I don't really think we can. I don't think that I can even imagine. Right. Like, you know, my little finite mind, really, brother, like, I don't even think I can even imagine. Right. right. You know, it's not going to be the, the streets of gold and all that. Come on. Praise God. I believe it's going to be Him. Oh, yeah. Yes. And we're going to be, I, I believe it. I don't, see, I don't even know how that body's going to, how that's going to be turned. I don't, I don't even know if my little mind, once I get there, if I'm able to be amazed. I believe, right. I, you know, just so much we don't know. But when I try to think about it with this little mind that I still got, brother, like, and I see what I know is holy and try to do what I know, but then yes. when I think about Him, Come on. I believe we're just going to be like, that's holy. Thank you. That's holy. That's holy. That's I just holy. thought I could imagine, but I can't even imagine. Praise God. God. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. We should be looking forward to that and working and striving for that. Thank today. You, Praise Jesus. God. Thank Praise God. God. Again, I said so good to be in the house, Lord. So good to have everyone today. And Brother Alexander's going to read us a couple of poems, so let's uh, give our attention to him today. Praise God. I've asked Sister King to say and she's going to sing, so we'll go ahead and let Brother Alexander read and then she'll sing after that. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Much said last Sunday, I enjoyed this gentleman right here. Oh, he was wonderful, <laughs> and unique, yes, and special. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bless him all. Yes, sir. He enjoyed it. Bless him all. First poem I'd like to read. <coughs> How true is a man's soul, and what will he behold? Yes. He will behold an affection for the Lord, fresh and new when the morning starts. Have you ever wanted God to come to your rescue? And most people do. Oh, yes. And how true have a man been asking God to forgive him for his sins? Yes. We are spiritually wise and have the Lord in our eyes. Not far from paradise, but 10 million miles away, and we intend to continue to pray each day and never forget the way. I was just walking along singing a song. I never heard fairy tales, but I've heard church bells. Right. Ringing Sunday school, listening to the golden room. Watching the way man present himself to God and never depart more affection in his heart. We can, honor, we can honestly say we have enjoyed a wonderful day. We have already been blessed and nothing to confess and let us get a good night's rest. Next point. We are seeking everlasting life. We are seeking to be with Jesus Christ. We are designed to live continuously happy and free. It will be very long, we know our own, but we must be around God's throne. Yes. Where we belong. Amen. There are peoples who will destroy wonderful joy. We want the real McCoy and wonderful joy, not a broken toy. Right. We need God <laughs> and not a broken heart. Amen. Right. Yes. We will seek the Lord until we are laid to rest. We have things to digest. It is also a test. Wishing beyond time and left to enjoy sunshine. Wishing it was all mine. Behold, we are seeking a new body and soul. We will have full control. It is one that will never get old. We are seeking everlasting life. We will join Jesus Christ and more than likely paradise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're all trying to get actually to sing two songs, so we'll give everybody else a day off. We'll overwork her. Let's first up with her she sings for them.
comes on back. Hallelujah. Praise Glory, God. Glory, Think about Glory, that. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. There's nothing out of his control. Right. There's nothing that he can't do. Praise God. I've asked her to sing another song. Probably just our family here would remember. And I think he used to sing this song, Brother Yarbrough. Didn't he, didn't he used to sing this song a lot? I remember him singing this. This has always been a favorite song. Now let's worship again with her. She sings this song.
and maybe even sometimes in our own lives, if we want something, right. uh, not, not you know, sinful stuff, but if we want yes. something, we're going to figure out a way to right. yeah. uh -huh. It may be a new car, it may be a, a better house, whatever. Maybe <laughs> something smaller than that. But we're going we're gonna to work on it to niggle around until we get it. Right. And uh, we live in a world, that's the way the world is. I wonder if we put that same energy into seeking yeah, right. Yes. Right. I wonder sometimes we put that same energy into, Jesus, into planning Jesus. our trip. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planning on leaving. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn the service to Brother Clayton, but I'm going to ask her while he's coming. Let's sing some more of that course. Maybe if you could bring it on for the course. Or... Someone's got courses in verse. I don't know. Let's sing some more of that as Brother Clayton comes. I'm ask you to stand here. Yeah. this morning I was coming out to make a round and uh, uh, three policemen met me and uh, they said you've got some alarms going on oh, no. uh, and so I, I always have a ringing in both ears so I, I always got alarms going on so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I immediately heard it when I got further out on the parking lot of course they said who are you and I had my uniform on yeah. so I had to, had to show my identification and everything so we Try to find out which place it's coming from. We have two sprinkler systems there, and I, and I finally figured out it was, I thought it was a long way down in the shop, but it was another one in the deepest, darkest part of, of the plant there. And we, we were in residential areas, and so you could see the lights coming on in the house as uh, people were getting upset. They already lost one hour, and they're fixing to lose some more. <laughs> so uh, I get in there, and I, I had dealt with a, uh, one, one sprinkler system before, and I, I thought I could try and turn it off with what I'd done the other, and it didn't work. So I called the maintenance man who was an L card at a horse auction about two hours away. They, I guess they had him all night long. That's where he said he would anyway. But uh, he told me, and I had a bad connection on my phone, and it was broken, and he said, do this, and I, or what I thought he said to do it anyway. It didn't work. I had to go back between where I was at and go back up front to hear to see if the alarm was on. There's so much noise in there. And uh, I, I, I prayed, I did everything I needed to do, and I, it was getting later, and people were getting madder, and they were fixing to come up, turn that alarm off for me one. I don't know which, but I prayed earnestly this time, God, you're going to have to help. Well, I don't need this stretch. Right. right. <laughs> and and uh, I went back, and uh, I did what he told me to do that didn't work before. And I twisted one little knob and it just shut down. Thank Everything Jesus. was silent. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And all I can do is say thank you, Jesus. Yes. You know, when we don't know what to do, 
Yes, you know. Yes, you know. Yes. I thank the Lord for that. It may seem like a small thing to you. But that stuff's beyond my pay scale. I don't know. But God knows. Yes, he does. And so I thank him. I want to give him praise for it. I didn't want to, you know, I don't usually, I don't testify sometimes, but I needed to do this to yes. give him the glory and praise for doing it. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Good. Good. accidents but October I had one too and it was a tragedy as it was I've had a difficult time getting all the final insurance stuff done the car itself was covered by insurance the coverage was happening but there was a little bit of upside down owed on it and I had a gap insurance that took forever in the day to happen Wednesday I don't know about this until Friday but Wednesday they finally paid it all right. Well, you know, talk. You talking about things that the news that keeps coming in by mail. You're about to be yeah. held responsible for this whole sure. remaining balance. I'm thinking, I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, you're about to be made responsible for this whole remaining balance. I said, again, Lord, I don't know where that's coming from. And suddenly I say, God, I said, this is going to have to happen. Uh, going to have to happen in your hands and your way. Right. And so I had several things happen on Thursday the night I was here that God just kind of done a whole bunch of things in that day, but the fact that I could look back from Friday to Wednesday to day solved the problem, that was to me a peace bringing. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. Loads lifted. Yeah. And suddenly the weight's gone. Yeah. And I said, I said, God, I thank you for that. I just yeah. want to give grace and honor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I like that word he used. What Multi-versatile. Uh, I can't even spell it. I like it. He is a versatile God. Oh, yes. yes. He is. And he cares about our needs. Amen. 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 It's good to have Adam with us. Amen. Amen. I did not get his last name, but we'll get that later. But it's so good to have you with us. Yes. Let's go through this presence. Yes. Good to have everyone here. Mr. Alexander, good to have Rhonda's good to have everyone. Amen. Amen. Good to, I feel the presence of the Lord in this Yes, Lord. Uh, in the way of announcements, and, and I, don't, I, don't want to, I feel a beautiful presence of the Holy Ghost. There's a lot of yes. beautiful worship spirit here. Yes. The, singing, the singing has been tremendous, but I don't think I'll kill the spirit with announcements because we're going to go into the Word, and the Word, if we can't get excited about the Word, we shouldn't be getting excited about singing. Right. 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 <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't have a date, but April, the please, if you haven't already got something scheduled in April, that's, that's what, about two or three weeks from now, or four, and I don't know, I don't have a date, but I will get you a date sometime within the next week. Please don't, don't schedule to leave, you know, to take a vacation or to get sick or it's 
That's all right. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> we're going. We're going. We're looking at. I'm on. We're looking at some revival services and, and, and praying about this. And, uh, and I want you to be praying about it. But it's going to happen um, if everything works like I'm thinking it will. It's going to happen in April. So let's be much in prayer. Amen. Please, please, please. If you, if you don't have something already in the works and schedule, please don't schedule anything until. And like I say, I. This week, I'll, I'll have something. I'll have something for you coming in next week. Amen. So remember those announcements. And let's be much in prayer. Let's continue our fasting and continue our prayer. Amen. Prayer and fasting. Fasting moves us to pray. Pray and move God. Yep. Someone said, you know, I just really can't see where this fasting is really benefiting me. But it's really benefiting you. Not only physically, but it benefits you spiritually. Because when you fast, that will move you to praise. I did not, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Fasting will move you to pray. If nothing else, you'll be praying. Don't, don't let nobody come by and offer to buy me a dinner. No, <laughs> You can go a bit fast. That's when they come up and say, let's go buy you that for you. <laughs> Amen. Let's be much, be much in prayer. We, I, I feel, a, I feel a, the need is there, and I feel like that we have the, uh, we have the desire that God will honor it. Amen. And we'll see some things happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you have your Bibles today, does anyone else want to testify for it? Oh, I want to do it by you. All right. If you have your Bibles today, I want to go to the book of Acts, the second chapter. <coughs> Very familiar scripture to Pentecost people, apostolic. I know what some of you are already thinking. Don't don't take that right now. We're going to, we may go a little bit different direction. Acts the second chapter, chapter verses thirty seven through thirty nine. Go down to forty. Thirty seven through forty. Acts the second chapter, verses thirty seven through forty. <coughs> Verse 37 says, Now when they heard this, when they heard the preaching of the, of the apostle, and he preached the message, and they heard it, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter, the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said unto them, Repent, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Yes. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward or this crooked generation. Right. right. Amen. Jesus. And hallelujah. Then if you would, let's turn to the book of Joshua. I read another very familiar passage of scripture. Joshua, the 24th chapter. I want to read verses 14 and 15. Joshua 24, verses number 14 and 15. Amen. And we will, with the Lord's help, tie this together. Joshua 24 and 14. Now, therefore, Fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in truth. Serve Him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood... Are the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell? But as for me and my house, yes. Yes. we will serve the Lord. Yes. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 
Amen. Master, we love you today. Thank you for your presence in this building. And I'm praying for the anointing of the Holy God, we Ghost. Ask for your anointing to touch each God. and every one of us. Anoint my mind, my lips. Yes. Trust you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Lay on my heart. Anoint us all, Lord, that we'll be a receptive vessel unto the word of the Lord. We give you praise. the movement of your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone said amen. 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 You may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Says, well, that's one scripture that we all know. Well, probably a couple of scriptures we all know and are familiar with. So where are you going with this, Brother Clayton? I don't know. But I'm trying to follow the leading of the Lord, and I feel this uh, this has been impressed on me, and I'm going to preach it. Amen. Yes. To the best of my ability, which may not be the greatest ability there is. I realize that. I don't worry too much about that. I want God to touch us this day. Yes. Amen. Have you ever heard anyone say, I can't be saved? I can't live for God. It's just too hard. Right. Yeah. It is a change to live for God because we're changed, we have to make a change from right. the path that we're normally on and right. get on a path that's, that we may not be real familiar with. Right. And we may not understand all things. I'm sure we don't understand all these things. But we can live for God. We can make heaven our home. Amen. But we have to become something to do that. Right. Yes. Yeah, we've got to become a new creature. We've got we got to we got to uh, repent of our sins, like the plan of salvation says. We got to be baptized in Jesus' name, like the plan of salvation says. We got to receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, like the plan of the salvation, like the plan of Jesus says. Yes. That's true. But to, to be able to enjoy the salvation scriptures that we just read to you, we have to embrace. The scriptures that we read in Joshua with all of our heart. If you allow me to, I'm going to try to tie this together. Amen. But we can make heaven our home. We can be yes. victorious. Yes. But there's something that we've got to get to, and that's we got to get to a place to where we're committed with everything that's within us. Amen. 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 Yes. I'm going to read you some just to lay foundation. I want to read you a couple of things about commitment. I want to read you this article that was wrote, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk about this just a little bit. We of this cause have a high casualty rate. We are the ones who get shot and hung and ridiculed and fired from our jobs in every other way made as uncomfortable as possible. A certain percentage of us gets killed or imprisoned. We live in virtual poverty. We turn back to this cause. Every penny we make above what is absolutely necessary to keep us alive. We of this cause do not have the time or the money for many movies or concerts or T-bone steaks or decent homes or new cars. We've been described as fanatics. We are fanatics. Our lives are dominated by one great overshadowing factor, the struggle for this cause. We have a philosophy of life which no amount of money could buy. We have a cause to fight for, a definite purpose in life. We subordinate our petty personal selves into a great movement of humanity <laughs> And if our personal lives seem hard or our egos appear to suffer through subordination to the cause, then we are adequately compensated by the thought that each of us in his own small way is contributing to something new and true and better for mankind. There is one thing in which I am dead earnest about, and that is this cause. It is my life my business, my religion, my hobby, my sweetheart, my wife, my mistress, my bread and meat. I work at it in the daytime and dream of it at night. It holds me, it holds on me, its hold on me grows, not lessens as time goes on. Therefore, I cannot carry on a friendship, 
a love affair, or even a conversation without relating to it or to this force which both drives and guides my life. I elevate, <clears throat> I evaluate people's looks, ideas, and actions according to how they affect this cause and by their attitude toward it. I have already been in jail because of my ideals, and if necessary, I am ready to go before a firing squad. That cat's committed. Come on. Well, that's, I wonder what cause that would be. The following letter was written by a young communist to his girlfriend, breaking off the relationship with her because of his devotion to the communist cause. Hmm. Seems a little strange, doesn't it? Hmm. But you know what? The reason I read that, I wanted to make the point, we need to have that same Small commitment right. living for God. Right. 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 We need to embrace this word that God has so wonderfully given to us a way to make heaven our home. Amen. We need to embrace yes, it with everything that's within us. That's I right. very right. intervene. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise sir. God. Laying a little foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to preach in a minute. Commitment is the key. One man said, until one is committed, there is a hesitancy, a chance to draw back. Right. But the moment one definitely commits oneself, then God moves too. And a whole stream of events erupt. Right. All matter of unforeseen incidents, right. meetings, persons, and material assistance which no man could have dreamed would come his way begins to flow right. toward him. Yes. History is full of men who were advised to quit just short of a great accomplishment. Benjamin Franklin was told by experts to leave alone all that foolish experimenting with lightning. They said it was a waste of time. Fortunately, and it is fortunate for us, <laughs> Benjamin Franklin did not quit. He was committed. Christopher Columbus had to face an impressive panel of experts headed by Spain's leading geographer and scholar who examined his plans and presented their findings to the king and queen of Portugal. They wrote, Columbus's plan cannot be accomplished. Quite impossible. <coughs> But Christopher Columbus, Columbus did not quit. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Orwell and Wilbur Wright were spending time and energy on a contraption that hopefully would fly into the air. Finally, in 1908, on a bumpy field in a place called Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the Wright brothers taxied their crackpot idea down a homemade runway, runway and launched the human race into the air. Yeah. Orwell and Wilbur Wright would not quit. Thomas Edison performed nearly 1,000 experiments before discovering the proper material for the filament of the light bulb. Thomas Edison would not quit. He was committed. Henry Ford was urged by Thomas Edison to abandon his work on that fledging idea of a motor car. It is a worthless idea, remarked Edison, but Henry Ford wouldn't quit. Madam Curry was told by experts to forget her experimentation with radium. It was a scientific, it, it was a scientific dead end, but she would not quit. Abraham Lincoln ran for the legislator, legislator, legis, I can't even say that word anyway, ran for Congress and failed. He entered business and failed, spending 17 years paying his debts. He ran for Congress again and was not elected. He ran for the United States Senate and lost. But he finally became President of the United States because he would not quit. The key that unlocks the door to success is the key of commitment. Without that key, the door will never open. No amount of genius, listen to this, no amount of genius, talent, finance, finesse, or right connections will ever bring the fruit of success without a real Commitment. Most frustrated quitters never achieve their potential 
not because of bad breaks or unusual problems, but because of a failure to commit themselves to their goal regardless right. of obstacles. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can't live for God because there's so many obstacles. Right. I have to give up so much. Jesus. Mom. It's been said you're not going to give up anything to live yeah. for God that you're not going to give up to go to hell. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm yeah. I want to look at some commitment. I'm, I'm talking about commitment. Amen. I, I made the statement. We right, we, we right really can't embrace Acts 2.38 without really embracing Joshua 24 and 15. Amen. When I make up my mind, when you make up your mind, right. you have won the biggest battle there is to win. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 We got the way to make it. He's, he's, he's left it for us in his word. Right. right. Printed in, in English. Printed in a language that we can read. Right. Amen. Amen. Again. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah, but it's been. It's, the Bible's been messed with. Mm -hmm. Been messed with, all right. It's been messed with by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's made and it, and it and it and it's brought to us as as what we need in the language we need. Come on, right. yes, sir. That's right. I'm sorry. These naysayers telling me that there's errors in the Bible, and that doesn't mean what that says. I am sorry. I'm not going to accept that. No. Right. Well. God knew how smart I was going to be. Amen. He knew what I could read, what I couldn't read, what I could understand, what I couldn't understand. Yeah. Right. And since he's not a respecter of person, uh -huh. since I got the same opportunity right. as, a, as a genius or a millionaire or whatever, right. and what I read and what I understand is what God gives to me to be right. able to make heaven my home. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. So I've got the opportunity, I've got a way, but I've got to become committed to live for God, yes. to walk for God, and to make heaven my home. Amen. Yes, yes sir. Yes. That's yes. right. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Joshua said, serve him in sincerity and in truth. You know me, I think you know me well enough. I'm a firm believer in the truths of the word of God. Yes. I'm a firm believer in truth. Yes. It's one way or the highway. Yes. It's God's way or no way. Right. Amen. I'm not trying to be unkind. I'm not trying to be dogmatic. Well, Maybe not even trying to be fanatical. But you know what? I believe it would really help us sometimes to get a little fanatical. Right. right. Yes. Amen. Sincerity and in truth. Put away the gods which your father served on the other side. Right. And here's where I want you to stay with me. He used two examples. The gods on the other side of the flood, and then he used an example of the gods of Egypt where you live. Our world today, modern Christianity, have two sides. The one is that when before you knew God at all, when you was out there a sinner, you knew you was a sinner, you acted like a sinner, you believe you're a sinner and you tell people you're a sinner. Because you're a sinner. Because I, 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 let me use me. I don't want to offend anyone. Because I was a sinner. And then I got, uh, say I got in church, or I got religion, or found religion, so I put away that sinner deal because I'm not a sinner anymore. I'm serving a God. I'm serving a God. I'm not on the other side of the blood anymore. Right. I'm living in Egypt now. Yeah. Are you staying with me? Amen. And then I find truth. So I've got to make a decision. Am I, I Surely I'm not going to uh, serve the gods on the other side of the flood. And I believe that, that, that Joshua knew this when he was, he said, he said put, put, put away those gods which your father served on the other side of the, put all that away. 
But the real question he was asking, can you put away the gods in Egypt? But if we serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth, we're going to put away the fact that, hey, I was once a sinner. But if we serve him in sincerity and truth, we're going to also have to put away the fact that, hey, at one time I was in a serving a God that wasn't in sincerity and it wasn't truth. Oh, but I love God. There's a lot of people who love God. I'm not against that. I'm thankful for that. Right. But if we can't get into the fullness of truth, we can't make heaven our home. Right. right. That's right. Yes, sir. The Bible gives us the plan. It gives us the way. I feel I'm losing some here. Stay with me. Yes, sir. He goes on saying, it says, the same evil do you serve the Lord choose in this day, you know. And, 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 and a lot of times that happens to... People say, I can't live for God. Why is that? Because they're choosing that they would rather serve one of the other gods. Uh -huh. Right. One of the other gods that they were in, uh, 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 had dealings with, I guess, for lack of better words. Yes. But they, they're rejecting the Lord. Mm -hmm. They're rejecting the truths. They're rejecting the things of God that He wants us to have. Right. To uh -huh. reach out and grab and serve another God. Which the Bible tells us there is not. Yes. Oh, there's gods, little G. There's gods out there, but the one that we serve yes. and the one that is our master right. is just one God. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. But he goes on to say, Choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods who your fathers we serve there, serve though that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose lands you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Lord. Right. Right. Serve the Lord. Lord. God. Yes. As for me and my house has a dual meaning. I may have, I, and I may cross the, I may cross your theology. I'm not trying to. I believe it. Come on. But it has a dual meaning here. I think the majority would say, "Oh yes, if if, if and, and this is true. If 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 uh, if, if uh, Joshua was servants, and I'm sure he had servants. He was." He was a, a, a man of means and everything. He, and, and, but he had servants and they was in his house. Right. And when he called time to pray or when he read the word or when he whatever, then those servants were required to do that. Yeah. Because he said, hey, my house, me and my house, we're serving God. Right. And his yes, children, his, 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 his spouse, his, his children and even visitors that came in. Right. That's who it's I believe he, you know, he said, okay, man, I'm glad to have you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna kill the fatted calf here in a little bit and barbecue him down and, you know, pig out. But right now we're going to read some scripture. Because that's the way we do it in my house. Because me and my house are going to serve the Lord. Right. Amen. Amen? And I think that should be good for us. Right. I couldn't make it, Pastor. I've got company come in. Was they naked? <laughs> you couldn't bring them to church? <laughs> I know that. I, I know I'm, 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 I'm walking a thin line. And I'm not trying to be crude or anything like that. I'm trying to stress a fact here right. that we really need to get a hold of. We're living in the end times. God's getting ready to come back and take us. Yes, he's out. coming back. Woo, thank and if we're not ready to go, if we're still serving one of the other gods, then we're not going to go. We're not going to make it. Right. Oh, no, God's a God of love. He's a Yes, he is. But he's also a God of justice. Yeah, he's also a righteous God. And what he's wrote down to give us is what he's going to stand on. Yeah. He's not going to look... And uh, brother, I'm gonna use. I'll just. I'll pick you out. So you said yeah, close. Please do. Yeah. Please do. Uh, <laughs> he's not gonna say, "Well, I, uh, brother Alexander can read. He can. He can write and read them poems." Right. Of course, all that other stuff he's doing is not right. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, you ain't doing it. And, <laughs> and he'll say, "I'm just going to overlook that because he, it, it, you know, it doesn't happen." That's just an example. 
But people think that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to do the best right. I can. Okay. And God's going to overlook everything. I know he's not. No, he's not. Hallelujah. But he expects the same. Praise God. Yeah. So we have to be, we have to, we have to know that, hey, me and my house are going to serve the Lord. Right. That's that's one of the meaning. But now there's another meaning to this in my mind. And and, and again, I, I may, I may not, uh, I may not, uh, you may not be in my camp, and, and I'm not, and we're not going to fall out about it. I'm going to love you just as much or more as I ever did. Amen. But when he says, for me and my house, okay, this is this body is a house of God, is it not? Right. The Bible teaches us that this this temple, this yes. body, is the habitation of yes. the Lord. That's yes. why it has to be clean. Right. Yes, sir. That's why that's why the, the, the sin has to be gone out of it before he will inhabit it. That's it. Right. Amen. Amen. So no, they can't uh, they can't uh, uh, and I'm just using this example, but they can't uh, cuss God out of one side of their mouth and talk about him dwelling on the uh, uh, right. inside of them right. or the other side of them. Right. That's right. Right. It's true. Because the Bible teaches us he's not going to dwell in an unclean temple. The Bible it. teaches us sin's not going to make heaven. Right. Not going to go. That's it. Amen. Amen. So, but so, so this is the, the temple of God. But it is also, it's our, it's, it's our house. Come on. As for me and my house, mm -hmm. we're going to serve God. We're going to serve the Lord. My eyes are a part of my house. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's true. If I look and follow after filth mm -hmm. and what, what I'm doing, I'm not serving God with my house. Right. Well, And I know, I know, I'm being, I'm, I know, I'm going oh, over good. one way a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not because it's my house, it's part of my house. Right. That's right. My hands, my, yeah. you know, sure. I, I, could, I, I guess I could use our, our senses, but you know, my feet. If my feet, the Bible talk, what's the Bible talk to us about our feet not going to right. places we don't need to go? Right. Our hands doing things that, that they don't need to do. I believe Joshua was saying, as for me and my house, yes. my yeah, my house where I live, where my servants are, and all of that, we're going to serve God. Right. But this very, this inner being, right. yes. this inside yes. here, yes. is going to serve God. Hallelujah. There's the key to living for God. Yes. When we get it on the yes. inside, yes. and we know that I'm going to serve God with everything that's within me, yes. then we are committed to Him. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Yes. Commitment. It means upright, strictly honest, or honorable. Strictly honest or honorable. So when we make a commitment unto the Lord, we need to be honorable in our commitments. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to know that we have committed unto him and we are going to hold fast that commitment. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to look at three things real quick. I don't know this, I don't, this may, uh, but anyway, if I, I, like I said, I feel impressed. I'm going to put it out there. Oh. Commitment of a man walking upright before God. If you're, the, you're, if you're a man, you're the spiritual leader of your home. You need to set an example for your family, for your mate, for your sons and daughters. That's, right, that's, right, that's walking upright. That's right. That's making a commitment. Right, yes. Oh, but Johnny's a teenager and he don't want to go to church. Billy was a teenager one time and he didn't want to go to church, but Malcolm said, You're going. <laughs> <laughs> Me being Billy and Malcolm being my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, well. We'll talk about that after church. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little facetious there, but that's why. 
Church. That's right. making that commitment. Right. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Commitment. That's, 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 that's telling God, I'm going to be faithful. Amen. I'm going to... Uh, and, and it's not it's not a, a, a something said about perfection today, and and, and it's not just just going to the house of God doesn't save us. Amen. We've got to obey the, the things that are uh, for us at the house of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And a man needs to embrace holiness. He needs to look like a man. Come on, that's good. My goodness. <laughs> I seen something on social media. Probably you may have seen it. Two. I ain't gonna say me. Two somethings. <laughs> Wearing the dress. Wearing dresses. Yes. I saw. Oh, Disgusting. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus. This is where this is. This is where this is coming. Okay. Right. And if we're not committed to holiness. Right. And I know if it's all there, finally got to it, holiness. Here comes the standards. No? I know holiness is on the inside. I know that. But I also know that what's on the inside is going to show up on the outside. Right, yes. And if what's showing up on the outside is not godlike and godly, then it's not holy. Right. Amen. 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 I got some riches that are too tight. Did you eat too much? <laughs> I'm going to cut back on that one day. <laughs> but I've got a, if, if I've got a pair of pants or riches that are too tight, what I mean real, you know, I'm not talking about just around the waist. I'm talking about other, just don't get real graphic. we got young children in here. They need to know this. <laughs> That's not godly. That's right. Right. That's good preaching. That's not modest. Right. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. You can walk behind some men today, and you can't tell if you're walking behind a man or a woman. Right. The hair goes all the way down to their back. <laughs> Bible teaches against that. You better be careful now. You're, now the Bible teaches against yes. men having long hair. Right. Amen. So it's not really a, a standard of the church per se. It's a commandment of the Lord. Right. Right. And if I'm committed, if I'm committed, then it's not going to bother me. Yes. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise God. It's good. That's good. Well, we've talked a little bit about the men, not much. Let's talk about the women. Walking uprightly before God. Well, you said that about the men. Yeah, same thing. Remember what, what that definition was? Honestly, strictly, honestly, and honorably. As a helpmate, her value is... Priceless to her husband as a helpmate. Honor says, "Give honor to whom honors due." I have a tremendous helpmate. Yes. She prays. She prays for me. She prays for you. She prays for this church, and I appreciate it. She's a tremendous helpmate. You don't know about the value of a, of a wife. Check out Proverbs 31, start at verse 10, go down to the end of the book. A lot of good stuff in there. So, yeah, you say that because you ain't talking. But if you'll read that and look at it, it enhances. Right. Sure. Yes, it does. It shows her value. Hallelujah. Praise God. She also embraces holiness. Modest dress. Yes. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you have to look in a mirror and decide if it's too tight, it's too tight. Yes. 
Come on. If you have to look in the mirror and, and, and try to figure out if it's too low, it's too low. And the same on the bottom part. It's too busy. I wonder, well, my knees, they don't show a whole lot when I'm standing up. Too short. Well, right. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. Holiness. Holiness. No more. Modestly dressed. Yes. Keeping the powder off your face and the scissors out of your hair. <laughs> oh, that's a standard on the scripture. Come on. Scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm talking about being committed. Sure. If you're not committed, it's not this this won't bother you. Right. Yes. I said that wrong. If you're not committed, this will bother you. If you're committed, nothing from the word of God won't bother you. Nothing. Come on. All right. Amen. We'll just do it. Yeah. Well, there's there's so much there's so much change and there's so much you, so much you can't do and, and then right. do, 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 you know right. and I've said this before I can do anything I want to do right. That's right. I don't want to do what I used to do right. Right. I don't want to do what I used to want to do that's it, right. that's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. that's commitment right. Right. hallelujah praise God and I, mean that, I, know, I know that's real a shallow thing, but I'm just telling you that when, when we line up to so, so, so supposedly the little things, I mean, we're going to line up to the big things, right? Yes. But them little things, the things that really maybe don't, they're not really to me. That's to someone else who needs it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sam, you're not getting out of here. I got on. I'm talking about youth, too. They got to walk uprightly before the Lord. Don't let, don't let peer pressure guide your actions. That's good. Lord help us. Amen. We pray for our children, and we should pray for them. Because a lot of the majority of the time, if they're going to a public school, they are they are uh, uh, a sheep among the wolves, so yeah. to speak. They're outnumbered, so to speak. And they are. But when they've got a commitment to God, Amen. Yes. They're going to stand. They're going to stand. And they're going to come out victorious. Right. That's right. Oh, but they'll lose friends, not the kind they need. That's it. That's it. Some of the some of the friends they need to lose. Yeah. I could really go a little ways there, but I'm running out of time already. Don't follow a multitude. The Bible tells us, don't follow a multitude to do evil. That's right. I can't remember, and they, and they may have done it, but I can't remember any of our children coming in and saying they wanted to do something because everybody else was doing it. But it's okay. The rich kids do it. The smart kids do it. They ain't too smart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Can go, you can go to school and be a witness to God, yes, even though you may be the minority in number. If you've got God, you're a majority. Right, right. That's it. Amen. Right. And this is this is where we're at. This is this is one reason that the church is in the shape it's in because our children, they everything. Well, you know, let's let little Johnny. Do this and do that so he'll fit in. Hallelujah. Kind of got
got quiet. Come on, you're good. That's true. Committed. The committed person is not concerned with what people think. Okay, now, don't leave here and say, Brother Clayton said, I, I don't care what people think. I didn't say that. <laughs> I used to work for a guy, and he, he'd say something. If you didn't analyze every word, he'd come back and bite you. I said, we, a committed person, is not concerned. Yeah. I care what people think. Sure. Yeah. But I'm concerned about my walk with God. Right. I'm concerned how I'm going to be a witness unto them. Right. Yeah. I'm concerned that I need to live for God with everything that's within me. If yeah. they don't like it, then I, I, I care about it. There ain't nothing I can do about it. Right. Right. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Concerned person or a committed person, he's concerned with what he is or what she is. Amen. You'll have the fault finders and intruding tongues of the curious ones, you know, to deal with. Do you know what the best way to deal with people that bring stuff, come against you and stuff like this? Three things. First thing is fall in love with Jesus. Right. Fall in love. With fall head over heels yes, in love with yes, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And after you fall in love with Jesus, live what you love. If you fall in love with Jesus, you're going to be living His statutes, His precepts, His commandments. Live what you love. And then lastly, love what you live. Yes, amen. Uh, I'm going to go to church tonight. <laughs> Honey, go look out and see if it's snowing. Uh, <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> yeah. Something wrong. Something wrong there. Are you saying they don't love God? If they either don't love him or they're not loving what they're living. Well, one of the two. Hallelujah. Praise God. But we got to be committed to make heaven our home. Oh, wow. Yes. Are you committed today? Very simple message. No, no great, no great um, uh, revelation. I don't, I'm, I'm a firm believer there are no new revelations. Right, amen. Right. If it ain't in here, then it ain't for us. That's right, amen. amen. Somebody said, well, what's, what, what about all the other universes? If God is so, you know, hey, don't matter. I don't care about all the other universes. The only one I care about is the one I'm in. Mm -hmm. I ain't too much worried about the other planets. I ain't, I ain't paying no more. Amen. I'm going to make a commitment. I'm going to live for God. And when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. I'm going to make heaven my home. Amen. I'm going to be victorious over all the stuff the devil's tried. Yes, everything he's tried. Over all the things that's happened. People say, well, I can't wait to get to heaven. I'm going to ask God about this and about that and about that. No, you're not. You get to heaven, you're going to be so excited to be there. You ain't right. going to worry about anything. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You ever worked a job and boy, Monday you were tired. Oh, man, I hate Mondays. And Tuesday wasn't much better. <laughs> Wednesdays, they had some day deals like Brother Holt had, bless his heart. Thursday, I, just, I don't know. And Friday you get paid and say, man, I got a good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's God. Kind of, yeah. Hey, I'm I believe. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the only one done that. He's <laughs> driving old trucks and I'd leave, we'd leave Monday and be gone all week, dropping the whole week <laughs> till they deposit that check into our account on Friday. Amen. We like the team. We got a good job. 
But you, you forget, you forget that stuff when you're committed. You forget when you when you when you make your goal, yeah. when you obtain what you're after. Hallelujah! Are you committed today? Are you like Joshua for me and my house? Yeah. Everything that's within me, I'm gonna live for God. Yeah, we're. I know. I know. We're. None of us have made it. None of us are perfect or anything like that. But we're striving. Yes. That's it. And that doesn't mean well. I'll just do what I want to do and then say I, I, that was my best. No, that's not what God's after. Right. Get in here and dig it out. Yes. And we make heaven our home. Let's stand. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Teach whatever. Very good. But think about it. Yes. Are you committed? Do you want to be committed? Yes. Hallelujah. Do you want? And I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm trying. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. And I'm not trying to say anything about you know. But if you're not totally 100% committed to live for God, it's time to make that choice. God has made that commitment. Amen. Amen. There's a part of your house not living for God. It's time to do something about it. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, yes sir. Praise God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Committed. I'm going to stand with the Lord. Let's sing a voice. Only love You want to pray? You want to come down front and pray?
Yes, sir. Amen. Lord bless you today. Remember our announcements. Let's be much in prayer. Continue to pray for those that are sick and those that are battling cancers. So, you know, Brother, thank y'all are praying a lot about the cancers and the guys and, and keep all in the same thing to the people that are having the cancers. Well, you know, that's true. But we've been doing this going on for, what, two or three years or something? Working. Working. Thank you, Lord. God heals on God's time. Right. And it may not be God's will to heal. I'm not God. I, I want to see everybody healed, but I know everybody's not going to be hurt. I want to see everybody saved, but I know everybody's not going to be saved. I'm going to love God, live for God, and stay committed to God. If we do that, we can make heaven our home. No telling how many we can take with us. Just on your commitment. Hallelujah. I guess I'm still preaching. But you can talk to them all day long and tell them one thing and do another. What are they going to believe? Right. Yeah. We'll save that for another day. Praise Jesus. you. Lord bless you. Thank you for being here. I feel the beautiful presence of the Lord in this service. I hope you receive what you need. Yes. Very good. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to him as we're being dismissed in prayer. Lord and Master, we love you. We thank you for your presence in this building. Lord, I ask as we leave here that you reaffirm to us, help us, O oh Lord, to make a commitment if we have not, or reaffirm our commitment unto you to live for God. Because I know, Lord, that you get in our mind make up our mind to live for you. Yes. And there'll be battles that we can overcome. Pray, Lord, as we leave that you put a hedge around about each and every vehicle that leaves this building, each and every person. And pray, Lord, that you give us a safe journey to our different homes. Bring us back at the appointed time. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, bless you today, tonight, this afternoon. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Jesus. Thursday, Seven o'clock. Just come expecting, and, and probably in April. I'm on, I'm on.